Navi, I told you, stop bothering me when I'm doing side quests. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Remember in the Lost Woods there was this puddle of water that you've seen here? This leads back over to Zora's River, but I'm not gonna go through there. Instead, I'm gonna go through here and this time take a left and you'll see this area. I totally forgot about this area right here. There is, look at this! Oh yeah, it is a soft soil patch I totally forgot about. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get ourselves a skull tool out of this. Come on, little bugs. Unearth another bigger bug. Come on, babies. You can do it. And da 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 da. I'll just move away a little bit so I can pop out. Any day now. There we go. Oh, it went that way. <laughs> I was expecting it to come this way because there was more room, but whatever. And I got a gold skull tool out. Now, well, another token, I should say. What you want to do is now make a left out from here. Ignore this boulder. I don't believe there's anything of importance there, but this boulder here, this boulder requires some explosive force. And you know what? I'm going to switch to my Deku shield, actually, because of the fact that I think there's a business scrub down here. <laughs> Uh, you! Are you the one that is... Well, we'll see in just a sec here. One of these gives you an upgrade. Uh-huh, I can enable to you to pick up more Deku Nuts. Yes! This is the one! It's 40 rupees for what's pretty much a useless upgrade, because as I said before, Deku Nuts are like the least useful item in the entire game. Uh, though someone mentioned that you can use them on that uh, giant Octorok boss back in Lord Jabu Jabu? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, that's all I'm going to do here in the Lost Woods. Let's go back over to the Deku Tree. Alright, remember this room back at the Deku Tree where I couldn't go up there? Well, whip out your bomb chews. Wah! And destroy those boulders. Uh, I'd like to destroy that one too because that's kind of like where the vines are that I can climb up, so okay. Now, there should be... There it is. A Skull Tula. Aha. My greatest adversary in completing this game because I have to 100% this sucker. <laughs> Alright, way at the basement, you may recall this room here. See that treasure chest on the other side? Yeah, that is going to be the thing that I'm going to be investigating. I don't believe that there is a uh, Skulltula behind this, but it is a treasure chest, so I am very curious to see what the poop is behind this thing. <laughs> well, I guess it's underneath the thing, but still. Ow! What is with these things constantly getting me every, every step of the way? <laughs> and I was a little bit too hasty there. Come on, there we go. How the heck did that still get me when I hit- Oh, whatever. Oh, it gave me three hearts. I will take that. Now, what's in here? A purple rupee. Not too shabby. Now, let's go back to another room around this area. And I believe it's to that gravestone room that had a Skulltula way, way, way up on top of the ceiling. So, let's just go there. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, this room right here. Now... I assume that I'll be able to shoot that Skulltula and grab it with the boomerang, but it actually looks pretty far away, so I might have an issue doing that. <laughs> but what I'm guessing here is that I just need the Song of Time to get up there. Oftentimes in Master Quest there are random hidden Song of Time blocks that you do not see in the room when you first go enter it. You'll notice that Navi was green at a certain point, right? When you uh, looked up, or I should say when I looked up there. So let's play the Song of Time real quick and see what comes out of this sucker. Because I'm almost positive I can't reach that uh, Skulltula with a boomerang and sure enough there is a Song of Time block. Now can I... what? Can I... oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't climb on top of that one. Uh, oh, this is this is pretty neato, actually. Floating Song of Time Block platforming for the win! 
no boy. I probably have to get up to the highest one in order to get to that skull to the ugh. Or at least I think maybe I'll be able to get it from here. Yeah! No, I, I bet you I could get it from here. I bet you I could get it from here. Wah! Just use Link's head as a guide, and there we go. That is the next skull to it. For the heck of it, let's see if I can. Uh, yeah, that was pro skills. Okay, let's go to the last room. Ah, uh, yes, the adjacent room right here. Uh, this one. The one with the skull to on the back wall that I was trying extremely hard to get the uh, skull to on that wall using jump attacks, and I am not going to get past these guys, am I? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to partially clear out the room at least. Oh, how the heck did I lose my lock on on that ginormous plant? <laughs> who loses? Who lo uses a? Ah, what am I trying to say here? Who who loses the lock on on something so massive anyway? Come on, I'll just have to. Wah, there we go. And you, there we go. It's about time already. And switch. Grab, and that's the end of the Deku tree. It's 100%ed now. Woohoo! Oh, remember the graveyard? Mm, I think you do. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, could that be a Skulltula? Oh, I think it's a Skulltula. I should be using my slingshot instead. <laughs> and then lock onto the pooper when it. Uh, yeah, there we go. You may remember Zora's River. I completely forgot about this. Yep. <laughs> the tree right by the entrance contains a skull to lock. Okay, do you remember that heart? No, no, Navi! No, I know I'm supposed to go there, dang it. Remember that heart piece that's all the way up there? I believe you can get this. Someone told me that you can latch onto things with the boomerang, including heart pieces, so... I may just be able to get this sucker, maybe. Uh, let's see here, just aim a little lower. Not that low. <laughs> well, actually, that I didn't quite even reach the platform, so that may be an issue after all. Mm, I want it so badly, so badly. Eh, no, I guess I can't right now. Oh, well, let's try and make this jump here. Or not. <laughs> oh, man, I guess I can't get that one right now. Well, let's see if I can get this heart piece instead with the cuckoo. It's not that hard to get a cuckoo over here. All you have to do is just keep chucking it up on top of ledges. And there we go. Hmm, what's down this side of the river? See where I am on the map here? Um, hmm, there's a ladder, I'll just plop you there and hope you don't run away. <laughs> I'm going to climb up here and see what is up. That's another chicken, hmm, that is ha oh, oh, I might actually have a shot at, oh, maybe I do have a shot at getting that heart piece. Oh, uh, maybe I can. I'll grab you. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get across this narrow bridge here. No, no, no. Please, camera, work with me. I need your assistance if we are going to beat this game together. There we go. Now, I definitely can get that from here. Yes! Ooh and... Success! Now, here's how I got a cuckoo back over to... Oh. I'll just show you the route from the very beginning here, I guess. Okay, I reset the area just so I can show you this. There's one Skulltula back over at the end of the river, which is also why I'd like to show you this, how to get over there fairly easily, and how to keep your cuckoo all the way to, uh, until the end of the river. Uh, you should know this route by now, just by cuckoo hopping your way across the, these... Uh, crevices across the river, I guess you could say they are. It's like they're naturally ground out due to the river. That's like the Grand Canyon of sorts. You get the idea, the erosion, whatever. <laughs> I'm just sort of being random here on my way back here just because I can, just because I'm showing you the route. Now when you get to these things, just throw your cuckoo up, grab your cuckoo real quick, and then throw it. No, 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 I need to 
I need to grab chicken. There we go. <laughs> and now I'll climb up after it. Grab it. And now this, the pathway over to those bridges shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. By the way, that narrow path that I was at before... Wow, how did I do that? <laughs> the narrow path that I was at before is right off this spot right here. So I guess that is how you get the heart piece as a kid. So there you go. Now up here, it's not nighttime, so I'll have to turn it to nighttime when I get up there. Then you just simply cross the bridge. It's just a simple walk over there. Yada yada yada. And that that ladder right over there is where the skull tula would be. And over here, you know, you can cross these bridges any way that you please because of the fact that they crisscross themselves in the very natural and easy to flip over formation the sort of dealio thingy and why did I pull that eye? Well, I wanted to pull out this. <laughs> oh. There we go. And hopefully I'll be able to get the skull tool off from this angle. Um, you can hear it right down here. Can I? Eh? Eh? Oh, come on. Come on, that's possible. You can't tell me that's not possible. No, 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 not, not like that. <laughs> it would probably be easier to have just shot this from the other side. Ah, there we go. There. I said there like 20 times. <laughs> and there's a skull to law of Zora's River. I should say the last skull to law of Zora's River. Just for the fun of it, back at Zora's River here, remember I said that you could destroy these beehive-like things? I believe that you can do it with the boomerang. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah! Am I missing? I can't tell because of the freaking camera. Ah, there we go. Those uh, beehives, or whatever the heck they are, there's some sort of bug's nest. They contain random goodies, so they're definitely worth uh, picking through if you'd like to... Uh, one, well, not, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't say 100% the game, I mean it's worth picking through if you just want to get some stuff for your inventory and stuff like that. Now back at Zora's River here... Um, I thought I could climb... Oh, I can. <laughs> this is what I was looking for. Hello, Skulltula! And I'm gonna have to use my slingshot, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Now, I would like to Z-target. Well, L-target in this game. There we go. Um, let's see. I, isn't there something over there? I believe there's a great fairies fountain over at this plot of land here. So I should probably go take a look at that, if I'm not mistaken. I believe there's another Skull Tula around this area. Hmm. Uh, well, there's a tree here. Okay. <laughs> I did not even know that, honestly. I just took a guess because it was a tree, but I remember there distinctly being two Skulltulas here. Anyway, now get your bombs out. Now, I think it is... Aim for that rock right there. And you don't just blow up that rock. You blow up the entire wall behind it! <laughs> I always found that one pretty silly. I remember that one very, very distinctly. And here's, oh, that's right, these fairies are extremely, extremely scary. Good thing I'm wearing my diaper, otherwise I'd pee myself. Well, pee my pants. <laughs> and you get a thingy from this thingy. It is the power of wind and the power of nudity, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Maybe she's breaking wind or something. Nah, I forget about that. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you. Now, please give me a prize so I can get out of here. You're freaking me out, lady. Ooh, glowy. So beautiful. Not her, the glowy thingy. And you get... Ferrari's Wind. It is 
a warp sort of magic dealio. Basically, you can teleport yourself out of a dungeon, basically. If you use uh, this thing at a certain place, what you can do is you'll create a warp point and you then you can warp back and forth between those places. As, and as I said, you can also use that to escape a dungeon. I think you could use it to escape a dungeon. Well, you probably could because, you know... Ah, okay. <laughs> That makes sense. You can only use it in the dungeons that have maps in them. Alrighty, I guess. So, if you ever get stuck at a place like... Well, I was gonna say, if you ever get like stuck in an infinite loop with a Skulltula or something like that... Ah, uh, freaking Dodongo's Caverns. <laughs> yeah, I thought you could maybe use it there, but that's probably not the case. Because of the fact that I couldn't use anything getting blasted in that corner. And I guess that's all you can do over here at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go over to Lord Jabu Jabu and see if I can get the last couple of Skulltulas you can get as a kid in there. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it without the Lens of Truth, because remember those invisible enemies? Yeah, so we're just gonna see how this is gonna go. So I'll see you inside. Okay, this room with the invisible poopers. Now, I assume that there is more than just that, uh, what did I do that for? More than just that one that I seen, uh, that I was able to lock on. But anyway, I'm gonna use Din's Fire and attempt to clear out as much of this room as I possibly can at once. Uh, that failed miserably. Wow. Oh boy. So, what am I supposed to do in this room anyway? Can I, like, can I... Hmm, there isn't like this... DANG IT! Ah, this room with the Song of Time block. I decided to give up completely, well, not completely, I'll be back there later. Um, but as of, as of right now, the uh, room with the invisible keys, or whatever the heck is in that room, it got my shield! <laughs> But at the moment, I just can't figure out that room. I can't see anything that I can kill. I used Din's fire in the room. It wouldn't reach the web, and in turn, I couldn't get to the Skull Tula that way. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have to give up on it for now, and uh, that's pretty much it, I guess, and until a little bit later on in the game. Don't worry, I'll be back here. Don't you worry, I assure you, this game will be 100%ed. Anyway, I think I'm gonna do some stuff in Hyrule Field and then end off the parts. On my way back, I decided to go over to this guy here, the bean guy. Yeah, I would like to get some magic beans here. He says they're not all that popular, yet he raises the price of the beans by 10 rupees since the last time that I bought them. Now if you talk to him again, and now he'll say they are getting to be quite popular, so those two purchases that we made now uh, raise the price up to 30 rupees, and this is pretty much where you need the majority of the rupees in the game from, so you might as well just buy a bunch of them right now while you have some rupees, because we are going to get a full filling of our wallets a very, very short time later to be able to buy more of these. And don't worry, I'm gonna buy some more, yeah, 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 just for now. <laughs> and the next ones will be 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. I don't believe that you need all, all 10 of the beans that you can buy from him, but I'm gonna stock up on them now and just make notes of the ones that I have to plant and then show you where you should plant later on when I do that full-on side quest with the soft soil patches. Now, to another, I should say, to a thing the, called these, the like hidden holes inside the ground. Now, these sort of dealios are the kinds of things that you would normally be able to find only with the Stone of Agni, unless you got really, really lucky. Like this one right here. See that tree way, way, way across next to Hyrule Castle? Well, behind that tree is a hole, but you can't see the hole unless you bomb it. So let's throw um, too far away from it, dang it. <laughs> so let's plop one there. 
Uh, uh, would you look at that? There's a hole there. Now, if you had the Stone of Agony and the Rumble Pack and or a normal GameCube controller, you would be able to um, feel where that hole is by the rumble on the controller since you got the Stone of Agony from that uh, Skulltula house. Speaking of Skulltulas, oh yeah! There's a gold one right up here. Let's go get some more pre I was gonna say prizes. Treasures of Hyrule Field. You remember this area? The area that led to Lake Hylia? Well, this is the place that I exited Lake Hylia. <laughs> but anyway, inside this fenced off area, there's a signpost, which I'm sure reads, Lake Hylia. Yeah, but anyway, whoa, random pea hat. But anyway, I would like to drop a bomb right in the center there. Ow, and fall down this hole. There is a secret. I don't know why I didn't pick this up earlier, but whatever. Oh, I don't have my Deku shield because I freaking... <laughs> um, wait, wait, I do need to make him talk, don't I? I recall there being a thing in this hole for certain. Uh, one... Yay! A piece of heart for only 10 rupees! <laughs> Do you got any more, man? You may recall Gerudo Valley. Well, I'll go a little bit towards the right this time. Not towards that place right there. You want to go this way? And I believe there is a circle of rocks of sorts. And you want to plop a bomb here. Go down the hole. Maybe I should have got some of those treasures, but whatever. And... But, ooh, it's a... Why is there a cow down here? Why, what is it with this game and cows? <laughs> okay, let's just burn our way through here, I guess. Hopefully I'll be able to burn more webs than just uh, that one, because I'm pretty sure there's a Skulltula down here somewhere. Perhaps I should be scouting out the area before I start randomly burning webs down. I guess, maybe. Uh, okay, let's see what's down the path of cows. There it is! <laughs> this was the right one anyway, so I guess I don't have to worry about that after all. I should say worry about taking the wrong path. And there we go. I think I am done recording for the day, and I'm done with this part. This part has taken me 57 minutes to make. This is going to take forever to edit. So you better enjoy this part. I'll see you in the next part. Toodaloo!